So far, the experience in Nairobi has been good. The UN Office of Nairobi has been very welcoming, and we are happy for that. Um, we have been able to deliberate on 35 cases this week. Well, the this headquarters of UNAT, the Appeals Tribunal, is in New York. But Article 4 of our statute gives us a mandate where we can sit in Geneva and in Nairobi. We have sat in Geneva before, but we've never sat in Nairobi. And the UN has a lot of operations in Africa and staff in Africa. And we deliberate on a number of matters which emanate from Africa. So we thought that Nairobi being the hub, that it would be very good for us to have our presence here. The United Nations Appeals Tribunal is the final appellate part of the UN justice system. And when I say the final appellate part of the UN justice system, what I mean is that we hear all appeals from the United Nations dispute tribunals and other entities. So United Nations dispute tribunals, UNRWA, and other entities. And we are the final uh, court in terms of the resolution of dispute. So our decisions are final and must be accepted by both parties. A staff member cannot file a complaint at the appeal tribunal. Uh, if, the, if it is under one of the funds, because we are also the final court for a lot of the funds, the funds, the pension, under the pension funds, they file directly to our court. That's UNAT. However, if a staff member has a, a complaint or a dispute, he can, well, and he would have gone through the, you know, there's an informal part and a formal part. So he might have gone through the ombudsman, he might have gone through the, uh, what you, your, that conciliatory process of the UN. He must go to the United Nations Dispute Tribunal and have his matter heard then. If he has, uh, if he is not satisfied with the results, or the Secretary General is not satisfied with the results, then these matters come to us on appeal. The UN Dispute Tribunal and the UN Appeals Tribunal started in 2009. And since 2009 to now, the Dispute Tribunal has had 2,600 matters filed before them, those are disputes, and the UNAT, we have had a thousand appeals so far. There is no cost attached to filing matters at the dispute tribunal or even at UNAT. So there are several matters which are filed which might be frivolous in nature. And there are several matters which are filed which, which, which are really serious matters and ought to be dealt with. So it is sort of difficult to say because when you put them all together, some of these matters really should not have been filed. But what I will say is that the, the, the staff now have a proper avenue of having an independent body of judges, because we are seven judges from different countries in the world, sitting independently and hearing their matters. Well, what independently mean is that we are unfettered, we are not affected or influenced in any way by the Secretary General, the staff, whatever. We, are, we, we, we do not even, we, we are away from it. We come three times a year and sit three times a year, but we are not part of the system. And therefore, what we are doing is building jurisprudence as to how things must be done properly. How, if you want to separate someone from the organization, this is how you must do it. If someone has a grievance, this is the way it must be done. If the UNDT judges have overstepped their remit, and there's an overreach, or they have erred in law, that is where we come in and say, no, this is, this is the proper way to do it. So it is a matter of, of ensuring that the rights of both parties are protected. I think if you were to look at some of the challenges, the, you, there, is, there is something in your system which speaks to management evaluation, and there is a time set to management evaluation. And staff ought to know that there is a time set to management evaluation. However, there are a number of cases which come before us, and we cannot hear the matters because they would have applied after 
the time. So it's in my view, if we were to guide staff, they should be aware that when they are they are not satisfied with an administrative decision and they go for management evaluation, they must do so. Those, those simple processes, if they are not followed, then we will not be able to look at it. And if I were to say, in terms of the life of the staff, how you not inf influences on them, influences them, they now have a conduit. They now know that apart from the ombudsman, they I think there's an office of staff administration or something like that. And then you have the, the dispute tribunal. Apart from that, there is also this final leg, which will look over all the activity to ensure that one, that there is transparency, that there is fairness, and that due process rights are protected. Well, I just want to thank um, the staff of Nairobi for having my court and my staff and being very good to us. It is all of us, this is our first trip to Nairobi and we did have some concerns before we came and that con those concerns have melted away and I feel very much at home so I thank you all for that.